Way ahead of me. Way ahead of me. Thank you, thank you. Stop, you're complimenting too much. <laughs> I'm blushing now. Good. <laughs> okay, uh, now moving on. Um, you're Lebanese, Australian, right? Yep. And I'm an Arab, so I have a couple of questions. Now, you grew up in Australia being kind of Lebanese. You've talked a lot about how the community was at the time. Did you feel like that your family kind of uh, pushed out a lot of Arab culture? into your household or was it mainly influenced by Australian? Because like, for example, me here, I was born and raised in Dubai. So I've had a lot of Arab culture circulating around. So yep. from your perspective, how was that? No, growing up in Australia, we grew up as like a, an Australian family, really. It wasn't, you know, the, the, the Arab would come from my Jiddu and my Teta, my grandparents. When yeah. we went to my grandparents' house, we were in Lebanon. You know what I mean? But when we were with mum and dad and, and their household, we grew up, especially like in the, you know, m- mid 80s, early 90s when I was growing up as a kid, like that, we wanted to be Australian. You didn't want to be Arab, you know, mm. you wanted to be the Australian. So we would be like, we would tell mum and dad, we don't want to speak Arabic and we don't want to learn it and don't send Lebanese bread with, you know, Labni and Zata <laughs> like as a sandwich. We wanted like a cheese sandwich at school. So we rejected that as kids. Later on in life, we've like, oh my gosh, we want more of the Arab yeah. side. We're so proud of it, you know? Yeah. So if you were to go back now to Australia, do yep. you think that you would enrich more of the Arab culture? Yeah, definitely. And we do now. I think as a family, mm-hmm. I look at my brothers and my sisters as well. Like we're, we're more enriched in the Arab side of what, who we are now and our